Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Lara Croft Tomb Raider. For this video, I'm going to make two changes. One is to lengthen the centerpiece here, and the other is to use white beads with a Sharpie marker instead of the bands. Although you're more than welcome to use bands as I did here. I'm using gold for the belt and silver, three silver bands for the wrist bracelet and on the legs. You can use silver or gold, sorry, gray or gold if you don't have those. And you'll be needing some skin tone bands and some black bands. I will be making one arm with you on one leg and have you pause for the others and everything else we'll be doing together. So let's start by making our arms. We are taking two skin tone bands. I'm wrapping them three times around the hook. And this is going to be going to be pulled onto seven sets of double skin tone bands. So take two, put them at the end, bring your wrapped band over, replace the other piece. And we're going to take another two, put it at the end, add a little tension, bring the bands off of your hook and onto there, put the other end back. We need to do this five more times, so I'll go a little bit faster now. But if you are still unsure how to do it, you can go back a second and watch the example again. It's four, five, six, and seven. And you will need two arms, so take a minute and get your other arm ready, please. I'm just going to put this at the back of my hook because we will probably want to add our legs first. For our legs, I'm using Kate Schultz's boot design, and there are a couple of ways you can do this. I'll just show you one way today. You're going to take two black bands, wrap them two or three times onto your hook, pull them onto two black bands, but don't put the end on just yet. Now we will take, I'm turning this this way, it's easier for me to hold it tight, two more black bands and wrap them three times. One, two, three. And now replace the other end and we will put this all onto two black bands. Try and keep them in order as best you can as they come over. Put the other end back and this goes on to three sets of double black. So here are two, two bands, another two bands, and another two, and we want two skin tone bands as we won't be able to fit all of our leg bands onto the loom the way I have it set up here. So pause and make your other leg. And then we will come to our loom in the offset configuration, middle row just above the other two. The open part is, um, is pointing down here. We're taking two skin tone bands and coming from the top center peg to the second peg in the center. And another two skin tone bands from the second to the third. Switch to black, come down from the second center to the second right. And two from the second center to the second left. We want one set of double bands down either side. And then to create the thick upper chest section, what I'm doing, I've done this on some of my other patterns. I find this is kind of a straightforward way to go about this without needing an extension. I'm going to put eight bands, six, seven, eight, onto the next peg, from the third peg down to the fourth peg down. And this, as I say, will make it a little extra thick right here. You can put them all on at the same time, or you can put on a couple a couple at, at a time. It's up to you. Some of my bands are a little stretched here, so I want to use my kind of curvy ones here. It won't show up as much. It's two, four, six, and eight. Let's come down five times in the center with double black bands. And 
And on either side, we want to come down just below this peg. So we want four times, let's see how that looks. I'm trying to remember here, I think it was four times. Two, three, four, we're going to add, yes, let's add one more set on each of the rows, double black again. And this is what we needed to make our middle section a tiny bit longer. So if you want the middle section to look just like this, you don't have to put these extra bands and you can actually use one less set of skin tone bands in that case. We can add our legs now. Oh, for that we need to go to the bottom of the loom with three sets, four sets of double skin tone bands. And do that again on the other side. And we'll put our leg extension pieces right onto the bottom of our loop. And go onto either side on the bottom of specs. I'm just going to give my, my foot a little twist so that it's facing the way I want it to. Arms now can go onto your second peg down on either side. We want a couple of little side extensions around the waist. So for that, let's take a single, wrap it, this is black, wrap it twice onto the hook and pull it onto two sets of double black bands. This will come from the fifth peg from the bottom, taking these bottom bands that were wrapped. And we're going to skip one peg and then place the others from the hook and onto the seventh peg from the bottom of your loom. So we're just skipping one here. We're going to grab one band and pull it over the center, the center peg. And let's make one more for the right side, take a single and wrap it twice, take two bands, pull them through, and take two more bands, pull this through, turn your loom around and we're going to place this again from that fifth peg up right where your skin ends or begins depending which way you're looking at it, and put your top bands here onto the peg two above that. For our holding bands, we want a single band stretched across from the third peg down to the third peg down and over the third in the center. And then we're going to be using double, doubled over bands, so bands stretched out and brought over themselves on the three sets below that. On the next set, we will use just a, um, we're going to use just a single again, and we're going to use two more singles, one more single here. Let's double that over actually, just to be, just to keep this secure here. Sorry, my brain's a little bit fried. This is my second time going through this video from scratch, so it should be easier, but sometimes it gets a little harder the more you do it. We are going to loop up, and if you're wondering about the belt and the arm piece, those will be added after I haven't forgotten. Let's do the side. We're coming under the leg piece, grabbing the bottom two bands and looping them up and over. Find the next two and come up and over, and we're going to go up the leg. Get your hook inside all of the bands and take only the bottom two and bring them up. Again, push back your triangle band, push back your extension pieces, go straight up with your bottom two. And we're just doing a straight 
loop from here. So always get inside your triangle band. You don't want to pull those off while you're at this or bring those over. When you get to this section, as I always say, you can take all of your bands at once or take one or two at a time. It's up to you. I like to grab them all at once. I'm just not very patient for the one at a time kind of method. Make sure you have them all though. That's the, the thing you have to be careful of. Push back your triangle brand, get your next two bottom ones up and over. And then we're going for these two black bands. So get those from inside your skin tone bands, bring them to the center. And we're going back to the bottom of the other leg. And from here, we're gonna do the same thing. All the way up the side. And stay inside your cat bands, inside the extension pieces. Check that you're getting two bands each time. It should feel a little bit firm as you go because we have some tension from the triangle bands, the doubled over ones. And also when you're taking two or more bands, it will feel differently than it would if you're only grabbing one. So be aware of, of that and get to know the feel. Once more, get all eight bands up and over. Find your bottom two, bring them up. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause or go back. I'm not trying to rush you through this, I'm just would like to keep pace for the more advanced loomers out there who are actually far ahead of me by now. <laughs> Let's keep going up the center. These are all double bands going straight, straight up. And the triangle bands are there, but they shouldn't be so much in your way now. Take your bottom two skin tones and bring them up. And on that second peg from the top, we're going inside and scooping out the top two skin tone, bringing them up and over to the center. Now we have a number of bands on this peg, the third peg down, we have some doubled over triangle bands. It's gonna be a little tight. Make sure that you are loosening this up as you go. We'll take this off onto your hook, transferring the bands that are resting on the top peg. But depending on how yours looks, you may or may not wish to put your hook through and flip this around. You can decide which side you like for the front or the back. Adjust it accordingly. Mm, I kind of like the back side for my front. So I'm putting my hook through from the opposite side. For our head, we're gonna start on the top double black bands from the top center to the top right. Come down to the left, double black. Two sets of double bands, black on either side. And we're switching to skin tone. So now with your skin tone bands, come down twice in the center. One more time. And we're gonna meet this with bands coming from the third right to the fourth center and from the third left to the fourth center. Our holding bands are gonna be doubled over, so our face is nice and, nice and small. If you want a looser face, you can always use just a single. And these are coming from the third peg to the third peg and from the second to the second, and they're both coming above the middle pegs. I will show you how to do the eyes using a piece of dental floss. I thought I had one handy. Let me just grab one from the side container here. So if you're using beads with a small hole, what you can do, and I believe this technique was something I found on, on Isalicious Designs as well, is put your dental floss through your two beads. Take a skin tone band, 
we want to find one that isn't too loose. Put your floss through the skin tone band and flip it around so it's pointed the other way. Come back through your beads. This might take a little bit of practice if you're new to this technique, but it generally gets easier the more you do it. And the better quality your dental floss is. You also have the option of using a thin wire or uh, if you have a pipe cleaner with no paper on it. If you're using bands, you can wrap your bands onto your hook and then transfer them onto that single skin tone. And this is going from the second peg down to the second peg down on the other side. Let's separate the eyes a little bit. And I'm going to put, oops, take one side and lift it up over over the center second. Can't seem to get in there today. There. And there we are. You're going to put your body onto the fourth peg down in the center where all of our kind of chin pieces have met. Check that you have all of them, and I've stretched mine down here a little so you can see it better. For the braid, you, you have some options. If you want a loose braid, you can use single bands. If you want a loose, thick braid, you can use double bands. I will be using single bands that are doubled over. And another decision you'll have to make is how long you want yours to be. So I'm going to take a single, wrap it three or four times. And as I said, I'm using doubled over singles. So pull the band, twist it around and pull it over onto itself. Bring your wrapped band over and replace. Twist it over, twist it over. I'm trying to give you a good view here. And put the other end over. This is the same thing you would do if you were making a ponytail. That's three, that's two. This is three. I believe I used 10 on my original one, but we can play around here. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, You can make this as long as you'd like. If you want, you can attach it at the bottom side and have it come off here. If you want, you can attach it on the back when you're done. What I'm going to do is put it right on top. This is just a personal preference of mine for this particular pattern. So I'm sticking it right onto that top peg. You have lots of options, lots of freedom with where you can place it and yeah. So let's loop up. We're going to come into this neck piece by the fourth peg, grab the top two. This is the one time it's the top bands we're looking for, and bring them to the left. Get the next two to the right, and loop straight up the center. And watch out for the bands that are holding your eyes on because you don't want to loop this up, or your eyes will come off. Come down again, go to either side one of the sides, get your bottom two black, get your next two black, pushing back the eye pieces, and bring your last two to the middle. And on the left side, get your bottom two, bring them through the skin tone bands, push back your skin tone, get your next two, loop them up, bring your last ones to the center, and we're going to take a single band and pull it through as a securing band. So get your hook with the open part pointing away, push it through the bands on your top center peg. Place a single black band on there and pull it back up and through. One end over the other to create a slip knot. And once more, we're going to take this off the loom. It's usually easier to start from the top and work your way downwards when you're doing this part. Press your eyes to where you can see them. You can adjust your hair. If you want, you can tuck it under a piece. 
you can take your securing band and wrap it around your hairpiece or you can hide it in the back and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm turning this over, I'm pulling my hook under a couple of bands and bringing this through into the back. And this will just go on a C clip for me for now. I'm going to secure it under another band here so it doesn't bounce around. For the eyes, we need some pupils so she doesn't look really blank and scary. If you're using beads, you don't have to worry about this part. And for our belt, we're going to get our gold band. Wrap it three times. One, two, three. And we're going to put this onto a chain of black. So let's put it onto one black band. And we're going to put the other end on. And I'm going to create a chain just of one on this side. And we need the same on the other side. So I'm actually going to put this on my finger for now. Just try and grab those here. and pull a single through the other side. And this can be a little bit tricky. Try that again. Three. Here, let's use two this time. It'll make it a little steadier maybe. We're gonna put a single through one of these, one side, and put it back. Put the other end on, and then we want a single going through the other side. And these can all be pulled over a single black band. We're almost done. Just bear with me. We're almost there. Pull all of these off and over. And create a slip knot by pulling one end over the other. Keep this on your hook and you can stretch it out and pull it over her body. Center the belt piece and hide your tied piece in the back. This can go onto another C clip. I'm going to throw it onto my first one, I think, if I can make it reach. Now we'll, uh, we'll add a new one. We'll do this properly. So I'm tucking it in under some other bands to make it tighter and stick it on a C clip. For our bracelet, it's just a single gray wrapped twice right over the arm. You can put it on either arm, but I believe it's traditionally on the left. For our leg pieces, I'll show you how to make one and you can make the other. Take a single wrap it two or three times. We're going to put it onto a doubled over black band. Put the other end on and put this onto two black bands. And this can all be placed onto, oh, here, let's put, take the bottom two, bring them over the top two. And we're going to put this onto up on her leg. Let's make this a little tighter here. And you'll take one or both of these bands, we'll probably need to take two, bring it over the leg a second time, twist it one more time, and bring it upwards and adjust it to where you want it to sit. This might take a little bit of, as I say, adjustments, a little bit of fiddling, but it should be all good once it's in place. And you can make that for both legs. You don't have to make it at all. You can make it a little looser. You can uh, put it directly onto the two bands. Whatever you find easiest is fine. And that is your Laura Craft. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Take care, guys.